Welcome America. Man, do I have something for you today. Have you ever had sushi before? Have you ever had sushi done like jambalaya, Cajun style? I'm gonna be showing you a sushi with a twist. When I started doing sushi, I actually did some research and I realized that sushi wasn't all about the raw stuff. It's literally whatever you wanna put in it. So I'm gonna be creating a jambalaya sushi roll. Chef Champion here to take you on a culinary journey I promise you've never been before. I'm here to help mold you, shape you, motivate you, and most importantly, inspire you into cooking like a champion. I'm Chef Champion, but my friends call me Ace. Welcome to the new age of culinary learning. Cook like a champion on this great station. So the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is you got your bamboo mat. You want to make sure that you wrap this tightly with some saran wrap and that way the rice doesn't seep into the actual bamboo shoots. So let's set that. So we'll go ahead and get our prep together. The sweet thing about jambalaya is it's just the same ingredients you would naturally put in actual jambalaya rice, only we're putting inside a sushi rice. Just a little bit of a twist. So the first thing we want to do is turn our stove down. We're going to turn that on probably about a high heat because we want that nice high saute sear. We're going to add a little bit of this avocado oil. Just a little bit. All right. Now while that's getting hot, we'll go ahead and cut up our veggies. Always remember, proper way to hold the knife, three fingers tucked underneath the handle, index finger is actually on the blade, and your thumb is actually on the blade, making sure you grip the knife. So I know traditionally you would use unduly sausage, but I'm using some actual Polish sausage, which I really like. Um, I have some friends over at Nooski's. They uh, provided me with some of this delicious sausage. So what you wanna do is just slice it in half once, and then we're actually gonna slice this on a bias for presentation. Always remember sliding the knife backward, and then just kinda moving forward, just like so. So then now you actually have nice, long um, strips of the actual sausage. We're gonna go ahead and throw that right into our skillet. Mm -hmm. And you always wanna add in the sausage first because you wanna go at what takes the longest and then go back and add what doesn't take the longest towards the end. Give that a nice little toss. So now the second thing that takes the longest is your actual bell pepper. So you're just gonna put my hand down there like so, so that it's nice and flat and I'm actually just gonna drag the knife and then just go forward. So essentially my motion is always just that nice rocking motion. And once I have all that sliced, all you have to do is just turn it. So really when you're getting diced, you slice it first, turn it at a 90 degree angle, slice it again, and magically you have diced. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but as you see in my left hand, I have what they call the claw. My fingertips are curled underneath it, why? Because fingertips are good, you guys. I want to keep my fingertips. And I know this is going to probably sound funny to you guys, but I'm actually tightening up my stomach muscles as I'm cutting. Um, will you get a six pack from doing this? Probably not. But what it does is it helps ground you in that one little area. I'm just going to add that to that. Now with my onions, I'm just going to make strips. Just like so. Give that a nice little mix. And now that I have any, uh, everything in there, like I said, this is not your traditional spicy Cajun andouille sausage, so we're gonna make it spicy. Gonna hit that with a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce. Don't laugh, America, I know you see me use this. A Little bit of slap your mama Cajun season. Don't go slapping nobody's mama though, you guys. It's, it's a saying out there. Give that a nice little mix. All right. So last thing we wanna add is a fresh garlic. We're just gonna slice that up. Always add in the garlic last. You want that garlic to be nice and fresh and not all burnt up. So once you have the rough, rough slice, we're just gonna do a little bit of a chop. And that's gonna go right into your skillet. Give that a nice little mix. So we're just gonna go ahead and uh, get our rice over here that I pre-cooked. 
Um, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll come right back and we'll put all this together. I'll show you how to put the actual roll together. I'll be right back. Welcome back, America. So as you see, we got a nice saute there. Everything's all, you wanna make sure you don't over saute it because you want a little bit of a crunch to it. They call that el dante. All right, so while that's cooling off, we'll go ahead and get our rice. Now, I would definitely recommend if you're gonna use rice, use a rice cooker by all means. It just takes out all the guesswork and cooks it perfect for you. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of this rice vinegar and that's gonna help actually make the rice nice and sticky. We're gonna add in a little bit of slap your mama, just a little bit, just to say I put some in there. So now I have actual Cajun rice and then we're just gonna mix that. And make sure that when you're mixing the rice, ancient Chinese secret. They say, be nice to the rice. Don't be all aggressive with it because you're just gonna make it all mushy and you definitely don't want that. All right. Now that that's all mixed up for you, we'll go ahead and get our roll on. You guys can see how I roll out there. Take our bamboo sheet. And as you see on this nori sheet that we have here, they have those lines. You just wanna line that up with the actual bamboo sheet, just like that. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and get your bowl of water. And you're gonna definitely use that. That water is gonna be your friend. That's gonna keep the rice from sticking to your hands. So we're just gonna dip your hands right into the water. Go ahead and take some of that rice and add that right to the nori sheet. And for those of you guys that don't know what a nori sheet is, it's basically, it's, it's seaweed. Super healthy for you, super good with, for your heart. That's why a lot of the Orientals out there, they, they seem to live so long eating all that nori sheet. So what I'm doing is I'm pushing down lightly, and as I'm pushing down, I'm kind of spreading it, just like so. Making sure about every couple seconds, you just want to dip your hands in there. And you want to pretty much fill the nori sheet all the way with the rice. Now we're going to take some of our jambalaya ingredients, and we're just going to add that right to the front end of it. And whenever you add the ingredients, you always want to add it into the front so you can get a nice roll. The only thing we have left, we'll take that crab meat log, set that right there. And I do need a little piece of this cucumber. So I'll just slice that in half. Slice that in half. And then I'm not a fan of that little pulp right there, so we're just gonna take the knife and slide it right up underneath there. So what you want to make sure whenever you're making slices like that is make sure it's the same size as the nori sheet. So we're just going to do that and then make a couple of small slices. All right, so now that we got everything all intact, go ahead and wash your hands up. And, and you guys, when I'm down in Louisiana, the jambalaya is like one of the most staple recipes out there. I know if you're out there, you've had it before, but I can almost guarantee you, you've never had a jambalaya sushi roll. I can't wait till my boys down there in Louisiana see this. They're gonna maybe freak out, but it's all right. It's my show, I do what I want. So very important that you pull the nori sheet all the way to the edge of it, and you just wanna take your two fingers and fold that right over it, just like so. And then what I'm gonna do is with my left hand is just take and grab the actual bamboo sheet and pull back on it, making sure that the roll is nice and tight. The tighter the roll, the better you're gonna be. Pull that over, and then I'm just gonna roll that just a little bit more. Pull back. Just like that. And kinda of keep moving forward. Just like that. So when it gets to the edge, we're just gonna pull that back forward forward and this is what I call the finger lock you just want to take your two fingers just like this spread them apart actually pull that off and you have your actual sushi roll so real quick I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make an inside out sushi roll we're gonna take the rest of that rice and just go ahead and just spread that right over the noise sheet all right, so what you want to do is just take your right hand come up underneath that and just flip that just like that so now you have your stuff on the back so we're gonna take our mix once again. Okay. We'll add in that little bit of cucumber. And then we're gonna add in our crab. Remember, just take your thumbs, pull it all the way over, make sure everything is nice and tight. Grab the actual sheet, pull back, and then we're just gonna pull forward once again. Flip that around so I have a little bit more room to work with. Pull this back. Take your two fingers, finger lock, spread them apart. And it's finished just like so. All right. So now we'll go ahead and cut them. 
Um, I'm using a eight inch sushi knife. As you see how it has that little bevel right there, that helps keep the sushi from sticking to the knife. And you also wanna take a little bit of water and just run that right across the blade and that's gonna help keep the sushi from sticking to the rice too as well. So when you're cutting these, the first thing that you wanna do is just face it off and actually cut off the edges. And it's a very simple cut. You're gonna cut directly right down the middle and then you're gonna cut that half in half, just like so. And whenever you feel that your blade is getting a little bit dull, just run it across the steel a couple times. And then we're gonna cut those in half. Looking good. So essentially when you're making sushi, anything that goes good with rice, you can make a sushi roll. And what you want to do too is have you a nice little wet rag. You see how it's got all that sticky stuff on there? You want to get that off. Just like that. So we're going to face that off. And we're going to make these just the same way. All right, now we got our sushi all rolled up. Last little quick step we gotta do is go ahead and do our spicy mayo. Um, when I found out about the spicy mayo, what I realized is that it really was just mayo and sriracha, so I'm doing a Cajun version. So I'm doing mayo, a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce, or a lot of Louisiana hot sauce, depending on how spicy you like it. A Little bit of slap your mama, or a lot of slap your mama. And then we're just gonna mix that up real nicely. All right, now that that's mixed up, we'll go ahead and cut up a little bit of green onions. Just gonna cut that at an angle for presentation. Last thing we wanna do is just go ahead and put a little bit of ginger right on there for your people. And a nice little dabi of wasabi. And wasabi is definitely optional. It's super peppery. First time I tried this, oh my God, I almost had to go to the hospital. It's extremely spicy. And we're just gonna top that off with a little bit of black sesame seeds. Some of my green onions. Mm -mm -mm. Put a little bit of wasabi peas on there. And then last but not least, some of this Japanese Cajun spicy mayo. Yeah, that's right, I said that and I went there. There you have it, you guys, your jambalaya sushi roll. We're gonna take a quick break and we'll come right back and I'll show you guys how to make a blackened ahi tuna with the balsamic glaze. We'll be right back. You, you guys, I know I'm smiling a lot, but someone's telling me I need to smile more. I guess you guys know who that might be. So that's our show, you guys. We'll see you next week. Hope you can tune in, take care. Today's show is brought to you by Schulzberg Creamery. Cooking Like a Champion is produced by Creative Edge Productions. Chef Champion here to take you on another culinary journey. Whether you want to cook like a champion or just have a champion cook for you, Chef Champion LLC is your one-stop shop to culinary goodness. We offer a variety of services like private dinners in your home, professional cooking classes, motivational speaking, recipe development, and more. Need your brand promoted? What better way than to have a champion represent your brand right here on my show? Hire me today for your personal Chef Champion culinary experience.